Hello, this is Sue from dragoncreations.co.uk and today I'm going to show you how to make lily pads. You can see really closely all the feathering. So this is alcohol inks. And with your lily pads, I have a little mould, which I got off Amazon again. I get everything off Amazon, that you can make little frogs. So you can sit your little frogs on your lily pads. So I'm going to make a home for my frog. Right, numbers. I mixed up 80 grams, and that's 42A, 38B. Mine's a one-to-one -one resin. Then I debubbled and I've let it stand for 45 minutes. So it is... Stringy, very, very stringy. So I covered it over for 45 minutes and now I'm going to go in with my inks, which are Let's Resin Green, Let's Resin Forest Green, and Deco Rom in a needle nose bottle um, cupcake. Couldn't remember the name of it. Make sure you give your white sinker a really, really good shake. Right. Lily pads. Okay. The reason I haven't put my inks on is because I'm going to try and make a definite shape of a lily pad. And if I put my inks on too early, they will just spread. So, let's go in the middle first. And we'll have one on the edge, half a one there, one there, and a little tiny one there. So again we'll go in the middle. See my inks aren't spreading so much because the resin's already settled. Because if I put them on straight away, after I pour like we normally do, then the whole piece will be green. And you wouldn't be able to control where you want your lily pads. Right, so that's my green on. Now for a bit of shading, shall we say? I'm going to put some forest green on the edge. Because that's spread along the mould slightly, we'll make that a bigger lily pad. Oh. Try and get it in the resin instead of on the mould. Oh, what's that? Frog couldn't even sit on that one. Let's make that a bit bigger. Done it again, the same side. Obviously, I've got a mental block on that side. So, make them whatever shape you want your lily pad to be. Just don't put too much ink on the middle one because you don't want it to spread and touch the others. That'll do. I think, yeah. Right, I'll just clear this off the edge and then we shall go in with our sinker. Whatever you do, don't torch because the alcohol has not evaporated yet. Okay. So I'm going to go over my green with my sinker. 
and I'm just going to let it touch the edge of the green. I'm not going to go outside the green because I don't want big white bits. turn into a baby one that one but I'll try and pull it out when I draw it draw in with it draw in it with my stick. more in that one and then I'm going to put a little tiny bit more green in that one I think because it's pulled away from the edge slightly because resin doesn't like inks to sit on the edge a little bit more green in that one make it a little bit bigger not too much there we go and there's a little gap on that one I can see as well. There, I think they're okay. Just keep going in with your inks until you're happy with the size and the coverage. And then if you want to, you can go back in with your sinker. I think I'll go back in here because I did add... Just a couple of drops of sinker in that one, or in, in that one. There. Okay, so we'll just let them settle for a, a moment. Again, don't torch. I want that to really pull in on that one. It's starting to now. It's done it again there. Okay, let's go in with a little bit of a darker green. I'm trying to get it right under that lip. Well, I'm not going to put any more on that. I'm going to do it with my stick, I think. I've got a thing for the edge of the mould today. Right, okay, so I'm going to start in my middle one. This is a micro brush that I've taken the end off, so it, I've snipped the end off to make it flat. And what I'm going to do is try and make a lily pad shape. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to touch the bottom of the mould. So, um, I'll take it this way. So a leaf has a main stalk in it, I think. So, we'll make that our stalk see it's nice and stringy but I'm not going to clean it off because it's going to be hidden underneath so I'm going to put veins in my leaf so I'm just drawing towards the middle line that I've put in and I'm just gently dragging the inks towards it round that off slightly, pull the ink in and then put another line in um, I shall split that there so got a little bit of a gap there so what I'll do is I'll just gently bring those inks together bring that in towards the middle It sort of looks like a leaf and then I'll clean that off so I don't contaminate the other resin right let's see what we can do with this one let's 
try and bring this back slightly so it's not such a funny shape round it off slightly so just gently tease the inks to try and round the edge off slightly That's a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to make this one on its side. So I'll make this the stalk. So I'll do my center line there. And that's the end. And then I shall pull the lines in to the middle of that, towards that center line that I've just made. And then here, I will just drag the ink out slightly. Try and get rid of that negative space slightly. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Um, this one I'll do that way. So I'll take my centre line that way. And then try and make it leaf shape really. That's all I'm really doing. one's going to be a small one so I'll have my centre line there and a bit of the stalk there well the stalk's in the middle isn't it and on lily pads so let's try and make this one a little bit more lily paddy and pull the lines into the middle see how that looks Getting rid of some of these wisps on the top. See, they will feather underneath, but I'd rather not have too much white showing. Right, so let's pull this into the middle. Now that I've realised that lily pads have a dip in the middle. I know they have a bit of a stalk, but it's all under the water, isn't it? Yeah. Just drag that bit back. That's crept away slightly. As long as you're ever so gentle, you can move your inks about quite easily. Excuse me, I'm just going to lean over and drag this bit back. There we go, and there's a little bit there to drag back. And then this one's going to be on its side as well, so I'll just put some blinds in it. And a bit of a swirl. There, so that's my lily pads on that one. Okay, so let's drag these into the middle. Because the stalk is under the water. another one in there I'll do the same with this one drag it into the middle so I'm just literally drawing in the inks it's going down my sticks going down far enough to move the ink but not touch the mold It's 
one's crept out slightly, so I'll just bring that back. And then this one is going to be on its side, so I'm going to drag it all towards the edge of the mould. Make sure there's no negative space there. There! I think I've drawn in them all, have I? Did I draw in that one? Oh, let's have another go just in case I didn't. I don't think I did. I'm just going to bring those little tendrils in because I don't, as I say, I don't want too much white showing on the outsides because they're quite smooth on the outside. And that's my lily pads. Right, I'll leave this a sec and then I will show you my backing. So I shall see you in the next bit. Right, they're all nice and dry now. So what I've done is I've mixed up 140 grams, which is 66 of B, 74 of A. 66 of B and to that I have added aerial blue and just going to move that to one side for the moment I am also going to add a small about small amount of holographic silver glitter which is the really big chunky stuff too much that should do and also a tiny tiny amount of my very fine holographic glitter tiny tiniest amount just that it's not even a half a spoon because it goes a long way and I don't want it to sink I want it to mix in nicely all right so we shall mix that in sides and off the spatula okay so now I'm just gonna split this between the two get them lined up nicely and I'm gonna start at the edges Just so it can settle into the edge. Okay, and then just cover the middle slowly. And we don't want bubbles. I shall leave that to settle for a minute while I'm doing this one. So 
so this will be about 70 in each so again it won't fill the mold totally but you don't always have to fill a mold to the top I'm doing this cack handed now let's swap this hand just so I can And then just fill in the middle. Leave that to settle for a moment. Check my levels, bend down, check my levels. So we need more in this one. A bit more in this one. Oh, can I catch that drop? Oh, look at that. Skills. <laughs> right then. Last bit. into this one sorry about the scraping noise but I'm trying to get every last little drop out I can There we go. Excellent. Go in for a deep bubble. Take your time. And that's it. So I'll leave these to sit and then we shall demold and fingers crossed they look like lily pads so that was aerial blue for our water with just some chunky holographic glitter and a little tiny bit more of holograph holographic glitter okay so i shall see you in the demold <gasps> right they're all nice and set so here we go. Oh, the white's gone onto it there, never mind. Won't have done anything to the actual pattern on the other side. Right, okay, here we go. <laughs> Lily pads. Oh, can you see the feathering? <laughs> Again, <laughs> Lily pads. And look, I have something to show you. 
I have little froggies to go on to the lily pads. Some really cute frogs. Now my frog frog mold I got off Amazon and it's you get a set of three. You get a frog, a dog, and a rabbit. So you get Oh, on, froggy. A frog, a dog, and a rabbit, and it's by Derry Ericle. That's D E R Y A R C L E. And if you type in Teddy Dog Silicon Mold, it will come up in Amazon, and it's ten pound for the three. So that's where my frogs are from. And then my frogs sit on the lily pads. And we put a rabbit on that one. And a dog on that one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, let me know if you want me to do anything else like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.